Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. Today, I'm gonna to show you something really cool. This is my Solar Zcash miner. So you're looking at the solar generator right now. This is a custom built solar generator. It has a 1,200 watt hour lithium battery. LifePo4 is the chemistry. And right now we are putting in 18 watts into the battery. The inverter is on. We're running an extension cord to my PC. The solar charge controller this is a uh, Midnight Classic. The solar charge controller is putting in 260 watts from four 100 watt solar panels out on my back deck. And that is my solar array out on the back deck, four 100 watt Renogy solar panels. 260 watts, and we are actually putting in 17 watts into the battery. So the rest of that, like 250 watts or so, is being consumed by the solar Zcash miner. Quick overview of the connections here. Back in the back, back here, this is the solar generator. I have a build video for how I built this, if you're curious. Uh, the solar input comes in through the wall from the 400 watts of solar panels. And this yellow cable here goes from the inverter on the solar generator across the floor here to a kilowatt meter, which is my second way to check uh, how much power I'm drawing. I was just curious, you don't need that. Uh, to the mining PC, so this is mining Zcash right now. Uh, this PC has a 1080 Ti in it, and uh, let's go to a computer view and I'll show you some more details of the mining operation. Okay, here we are looking at the computer view of the Zcash mining machine. I am running, I believe it's called EWBF as the miner. This is a miner that's intended for Pascal-based GPUs. I have a 1080 Ti in here and I am getting a watt, a sol per watt efficiency of roughly 4.0. Sometimes it dips below 4.0, but it's pretty good. And my 1080 Ti hybrid is only drawing about 160 watts, and that's pretty consistently. My settings over, this is an EVGA card, so my settings in Precision X overclock. I have the power target set to 65%. I have the GPU clock offset set to about 159 megahertz of overclock. And I have my fans set to about 70%. And the, the 1080 Ti runs pretty hot compared to my old 980 Ti, but um, that keeps everything in the blue, which is cool. Uh, 45 degrees Celsius for just about everything, 48 for the memory temperature. And if we switch over to our nano pool, which is what I'm mining on, uh, we can see that, you know, right now I'm pulling in about um, 846 souls per second, which uh, I don't know why it's saying that because I'm really only pulling in 669 souls per second. And I've got a balance. Uh, so this little bump right here is probably where I turned off the machine, probably to, to mess with the BIOS or something like that. Uh, if we switch over to a mining profitability calculator, let's see, let's take our hash per second, or hash rate. So say it's just six, 655, right? And our power consumption, um, at the meter right now, I'm seeing about 212, 214 watts. But because this is solar, I mean, we could effectively make that zero, right? So our profit per month would be about $84 with this GPU with uh, current market conditions. ZEC is about 176. Kind of interesting. So profit per day with this is about 281. Granted, this is a solar rig, so I can only, I can only mine when the sun is out and I can only mine in the summer. <laughs> in the winter, uh, you, Around here, at least, you get significantly less solar input in the winter. But uh, in the summer, sure, I can utilize this solar array that is usually under underutilized anyway because I only use it to charge up laptops and uh, cell phones and things like that. I can use it to generate money through Zcash, which is pretty interesting. If you're curious how I made this machine, I have a link down below the video in the description to the build video. Uh, this happens to be a Hackintosh compatible machine as well. And uh, you know, I think the video says something about that in the name. 
There are parts lists in the description of that video for this machine. I also have a link down below the video to a 1080 Ti hybrid, which is the same card that I'm using, in case you're curious about that. We also have a link down below the video to Patreon. If you enjoy the content of this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider becoming a patron. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.